All right. Traditionally, it is my job to do the boff wrap up. And this year, I really felt that other people should do it. Um, I would really like it if uh, new voices, new faces in the community could come in and do the boff wrap up because it's largely a, a, a matter of knowing what's going on in the world, what's going on in the community, what has happened during the day. And there's no particular reason that I should do it. Um, so I'm armed with an ugly red guitar today uh, in case no shows up to talk. This should be considered a threat to you all, an existential threat of some sort. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the, uh, the schedule because I forgot to do that beforehand. And call on all the different boss we had today in the schedule. Doop, 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 doop. We also had the, Academy, uh, the KDE EV AGM, which chewed up a lot of time. That was an excellent way to chew up a lot of time. I quite enjoyed it. Let's just massively zoom in. I would like to call upon a representative of the Snap Boff, either Igor, Jonathan, one of you, to talk about the snaps that we had. I guess that's me. I guess Igor is not here. Uh, we had a Snap tutorial uh, rather than a boff, basically, it was mostly uh, looking at how to build a snap, and we built K blocks as a successful snap, um, and uh, also looked at well why it hasn't quite taken over the world yet, and um, that was not yet integrated with binary factory. Uh, the code is there, but it needs some arguments with sysadmins or with the snap developers to work out how best to get it running. All right, thanks, Jonathan. Uh, but I think you're also on the hook for the next bit. The next boff round. I can't just do all mine, I had four. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, do that. Do okay, all of yours. Well, well, there was also a flat pack one, and maybe Jan wants to talk about that, but uh, he also gave a tutorial about how to build a flat pack and successfully built, I think, Crusader uh, into a flat pack. Um, and we looked a bit at some of the integration in KDE and uh, and uh, discussed how it works with Fedora integrating. And um, they look set to take over the world any minute now. Uh, we also were going to have one about uh, Homebrew, the Mac package manager, but uh, poor old Yuri is in hospital, so please everyone wish him good luck to get better. Uh, instead, I had a look at Neon and how packages get built in Neon, and I built a QML terminal package in Neon, um, and that has already taken over the world, so that's that's all good. Um, and I we had one at App Image, and uh, we had uh, Alexis. Uh, tell us how to build an app image. So maybe he wants to say more about that, but he gave a tutorial on that, including some of the newer technologies because he's been working on a, a bunch of new infrastructure for how to build these stuff. So he just did a sort of make and install and then some magic turned it into a YAML file that uh, pretty much produced a successful app image without having to care too much about writing that. Um, and we discussed how to integrate that with KDE, including the uh, kdu.org slash applications and he also had a special guest speaker which was pro bono simon who uh, did a lot of the initial work for app images all right thanks john do either jan or alexis want to step in and say something about the packaging boffs speak now or forever hold your peace All right, then we'll move on to the little bit looking still at boff room one, the surprise entry. KDE has a project coordinator, some guy named Adam. It has. It's me, as it turns out. All right. Well, tell us about your boff, in which you told us about yourself. 
Um, yeah, try to tell us about the role, not uh, about myself. Uh, but uh, yeah, I made it known in the community that there is a project coordinator. Uh, try to give examples of work that a project coordinator can help with. And I encourage everyone to contact me if they think uh, I can help with uh, anything. All right, thank you, Adam. Uh, moving on in BOF Room 1 today, I see that we had Aleish Pohl and Nate Graham running a KDE Products BOF just, just up until a couple of minutes ago. Uh, hi. Hi. So, <laughs> hi. Uh, it was so not long ago that I haven't really wrapped up my mind around it yet. But basically, uh, we had a bit of a conversation about the, some of the ideas I suggested on my talk uh, called KD's products uh, from Saturday and some topics that Nate wants to also touch uh, on Friday. So if you think it was a good idea, well, listen to his talk. We discussed about how to fit KD products into uh, product price placement and uh, promotion. Promotion. Uh, set. Yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, that was it. It was just half an hour, very quick. We will try to uh, follow up in a small virtual sprint or something along the lines. All right, so the four Ps are things to pay attention to. Thanks. Uh, moving on to one of the other Ps in room two. It kicks off this morning with a promo boff, Anika and Paul. Anika, are you out there? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Hi. Tell us about your boff. Okay. So we discussed about the progress we did in 2019. So we are pretty good in our social media, but now we have to focus along the other lines. So we are going to get rid of the workboard and see which tasks are doable and which are not doable so that we can actually focus on our long-term goals. There were a lot of initiative discussed by the group and we have come up with very good ideas that we should target the niches, especially for universities, schools and colleges. And we were quite inspired by yesterday's talk uh, related to dental health. So maybe along those lines, we should start uh, coordinating with the influencers and uh, we should bring on board some um, uh, experts in the field so that we can promote specific um, applications and products. So it was two hours, but uh, that was the gist of it. Mute. Mute. Yes, indeed. That was thanks for the the gist of it. Um, for those that weren't at the boff, you managed to last until well the whole morning, and then after yes. that, after that, there was towards a more consistent user interface in boff room two. That was run by nobody because it moved to Wednesday. Ha. Huh. Moving on to room three, Nate Graham who will be joining us from his bed. Did toolbar and title, title bar unification and conference room and bed unification, obviously, as well. Nate, how was your boff? <laughs> uh, let me get my camera turned on for just a moment here. There we go. Uh, this, this was good boff. It was a very technical boff. Uh, Myself and several VDG members and uh, Asma people had a consultation on how we go about implementing a proposed change to the Breeze theme that we've been working on for several months now. Uh, it was a very productive buff. We came up with paths forward and got some things unblocked. So I'm pretty confident that Breeze is going to be prettier and shinier soon, hopefully for Plasma 521. All right. Thanks, Nate. You're welcome. And now I'm looking at room four, which was blissfully empty all day. So it seems like we've reached the end of the BOF wrap up for wrapping up this day four of Academy. I'd like to thank you all for attending and you've been spared my ugly red guitar. Have a good evening.